All right, little bugs, take your love vitamin. Let's do a love reading. For those of you all that just want to hear about organic love or your love life, what do you need to know? Thank you for your love and support to the channel. Did I say take your love vitamin, child? Take your love vitamin. Thank you for those that will donate to my daughter in an annual amount of $333 for her birthday. All right, Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to know about their love life? Or new love. Action. Ooh, you're getting ready to get some action. This is also a person that you will have fun with. This will I hear the word active. <clears throat> this will be a active connection. Something very simple, like just going out, getting you out of the house. This could be a person that, you know, likes to plan. But somebody here likes to do something. They're not a talker. They are a doer. This is a person that say, babe, you know, I want us to go somewhere every six months. Twice a year, we're going to get out and get some alone time. This person right here, I don't know if they will use the word intimacy, but this is the person right here. They are very intentional on making sure that the person that they're with, which is going to be you, um, know that I'm very serious about this relationship and I want us to be very active proactive and have a lot of activities now the card says action you will have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul so some of you all may be a little shy you may be a little shy or timid to love there's no need to be all balled up you can open yourself up you'll be bold you'll be courageous this will be the kind of person you can express and tell them what you like um you can express and tell them what you don't like it as well this is a person that you won't have to hold back from but someone here will have a very unique and creative way in um expressing his or herself now the word here is creativity this connection right here will take you out of your element a little bit I like bungee jumping. I see a lot of cords. Somebody here could like roller coasters. Somebody here could like going to the park. I see um canoeing. I hear scuba diving. So some something here is all about exploring. It's like when a person finds that right partner to life, they explore the world. So some of you all could be great travelers or going to become great travelers. I see a lot of um in home dating. This could be someone here that is also budget friendly, really good in home dating, like sit in the living room up for date night, popcorn, candy, um, ju juju bees or some sort of some sort of chocolate. Somebody eats some sort of sauce on their popcorn, or it could be hot sauce. But baby, let's have a let's have let's have a movie night. So there's a level of creativity that's going to take place. I hear the word spark or this spark is going to happen between you and this new person or the person that you're connecting with purpose. This person right here is coming in your life on purpose. It's like the right person is coming in at the right time. I also hear the word pick me up. It's like some of you all may need to pick me up in your love life. Some of you all need to also go with the flow. And what I mean by that is when a person wants to take you out and, you know, it's not about being wined and dined, but it's about going out and experiencing life, exploring life, having fun. I see very fun, creative relationships, laughter, um, comedy. It could be comedy shows. Um, somebody here, there's a busy, busy traffic, like a, a, a people traffic this area. Sidewalks. I see sidewalks. I see pizza. I see food trucks. So some of you all could be foodies or meeting foodies or just get to taste different food from different places, different cultures, different races and things like that. But you need to be discerning, but yet at the same time, have a level of openness. You know how the four cup comes out and it shows us disappointment? The four cups can also show us an energy to where you're open just a little bit. It's like take a, <clears throat> take a little chance. Some of you all be pursued or allow yourself to pursue someone. All right. Some, somebody here is going to tempt me now. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, I hear that song. You looking good, shawty. Good, shawty. So enough, good enough for me. So this is a person that you will look good enough for. You won't have to try to worry about, you know, being over the top <clears throat> unless you're a natural over the top type of person. This is the kind of person that takes you for who you are, how you are. I feel like this person wants to be taken that way as well. All right, Holy Spirit, what's the action card? Good energy, um, y'all. Good energy, good vibes. I see a lot of older numbers. I see the number 62. I see the number 78. I see the numbers 44. No, that's 54. I see the numbers 54. I see the number 45. Um, 63 as well. Some of you all could be older, meaning, you know, older, older companions, older soulmates, or you could just be older. 
Uh, I see 26 as well. I actually see 2662. So you could also be seeing numbers as signs, getting confirmation that, you know, keep going on this particular path or keep coming to this particular place. Get out of the house. Get out of the house. You're going to meet someone at a particular place. You may also have an omen <clears throat> and you, all of a sudden you have this urge to go somewhere. I could drop something off. And right when you drop something off, that, that's going to be a divine collision. All right, Holy Spirit, what's the uh, action card? Guess what? You're going to be in a relationship. Ooh, yeah. The Hierophant card. It could be a Taurus. It could be a person that's very down to earth. Now, somebody who is budget friendly, so you need to know that. The lover's card. Um, This is a person that expresses themselves, but this is the kind of person, somebody who likes to have fun in their relationship. They like closeness. The six of swords, they also like peace. Someone here, you all could, I hear cab or taxi. You could share a cab or share a taxi, and that's where you're going to meet this person or how. Some of you all, love is being guided into your life. You just need to have a little bit of openness. I also hear availability, making yourself available. There is something here about the pursuit of a person or being pursued. You will know if a person is pursuing you, you won't have to worry. The 10, excuse me, the, the um, king of pentacles, very rational approach towards dating. Um, it could be a true gentleman, a true lady, or it could be a person here that just take, you know, practical approaches. Now, somebody here is not an upscale dater because um, I'm hearing very, you know, I mean, good restaurants are practical. Um, BJ's, Longhorn. I hear Myers, if it's a restaurant called Myers. Somebody here is also the kind of person that likes to... Um, patronize or experience like small restaurants or mom and pop businesses the tent of wine <clears throat> the tent of wine this person has not had fun in quite some time the hermit card it's like a person is coming out of their shell coming out of their element or coming out of a quiet place some of you all this could also be your energy coming out of a quiet place and doing something very simple doing something very um Somebody who's all about energy, exchanges of energies. I see go karts. I see malls. I hear that song by uh, 50 Cent Window Shopper. You could do a lot of um, exploring, sightseeing, window shopping with someone. So this is the thing here. Just, ooh, ooh look at there. The nine of cups, love bugs. Yep. So this is the thing. This is the, this is the kind of person that you will definitely be able to to um explore the simple things in life this is like a very practical but yet realistic relationship they're not over the top this is not somebody who um is very impressive or, or is all about impressing this is a person that's all about the reality of what they want um this is a person that is interested in like a soulmate or a true long-term slash life partner and or companion the nine of cups somebody here has been praying hoping wishing manifesting meditating on the right person to meet at the right place at the right time with the fool card there's a new journey that's taking place in your life and this journey is all about love this journey is all about respect this journey is all about um peace this is this journey is also for some of you out there's a journey here all about traveling yeah, getting out, doing some things. There will, for somebody here, there will be something um different about your companion. Something different about the person that you're going to meet and or connect with. Somebody here has a unique birthmark. Um, somebody here, I hear designs or graphic designs. So this could be someone here that um has some sort of arts. Oh, it could be arts and crafts as well. I hear sip and wine. Um, oh, this this thing this seems pretty cool. But there's something on this person, like a birthmark. A birthmark for some of you all could be a tattoo or it could be some sort of scar. The king of wands. King, excuse me, the king of swords. Somebody here has been through something like um. I hear veterans. Somebody here is a veteran. So somebody here is a military, being in the military. I hear Air Force. The aircraft is the Air Force, I think. And I hear Marines. 
somebody who is near water or war works with water. This is somebody here who has, they could have a good poker face. They may not show in or express all their feelings, but the thing of the matter is the nine of swords. They've been thinking about love and they, they've been thinking about it for a while for somebody here. I feel like some of you all are either a little older or you're going to have older companions. Yep. Angel of soul love. Somebody here is looking for someone here that is like nourishing, that's peaceful, that's like a sense of home or a sense of comfort. They want to feel welcome or that's what they're wanting. Somebody here has not dated in a while, dated, gotten out in a while, something like that. If you've been, you know, overwhelmed or thinking that your love life is not going to ever change, I wouldn't, uh-uh, don't you give up. Because something here is right around the corner I'm hearing. It could be the next six um, weeks that you all, somebody here meet someone. I'm just being drawn to the number six. Angel of support. The universe has heard your silent call for help. This is the type of moral support, mental support, um, emotional support. This person is very supportive, very caring. Yep. Angel of emergence. It is time for the real you to emerge. Somebody's going to bring out a different you. Um, uh, dare to be dangerous. I hear fast and furious. Somebody here could like to race cars or something like that or have a race car. Drones, um, those little airplane things that, you know, people kind of fly. Okay, pretty good. Okay, I'm going to keep it there, love, love, so we can upload this video. Scorpio, Cancer, Cancers, um, Virgo, and Gemini. Peace and blessings, great day. The dice are just for extra confirmation. If it resonates, it resonates. This does not mean that this is this has to be the sign to this reading. It's just extra confirmation. Peace and blessings, great day.